Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another episode of Baba's Kitchen. Okay, today I will not be cooking. I got somebody else to cook. And it's a very, very interesting dish. All right. Uh, personally, I never tried before, but my friend Peter is going to do the cooking. All right. And I'll tell you what we're going to cook after this message. I told you we're going to do an exciting cooking today and I told you earlier I've never tried this meat before you know what meat it is let me tell you it's camel meat and I'm not going to do the cooking my good friend will be doing cooking and here with me have Peter how are you Peter good, good to see you, you. Good to all see right you, man. Peter is a well-traveled chef well now he's now he's settled down in Queensland right. now Peter I know about you love camel meat don't you yeah, I do. Yeah, Not I only camel milk, you love drinking camel milk. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. You like anything about camel, you love it. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. You might see him in one of my episodes when I did a, a tourism promotion and he was there in that video. All right. Now, what are you going to cook up for us today? Well, what I do is I'll uh, introduce you to camel meat with one of the best cuts, which is the tenderloin. Like, you know, it's uh, it's uh, most, the most tenderest part. Okay. Uh, marinated that in a bit of oil. Um, uh, olive oil, um, uh, it's like a nice mix, cut olive oil and uh, sunflower oil. Before you go further, yeah, I want to ask you this question. <laughs> How does the camel meat taste? Are you find out. <laughs> That's the answer I was expecting. That's the answer. Okay, so what are the ingredients? Let's have a look. Camel uh, come closer. What do we have here? What is so this? So what we got here is uh, I've uh, found uh, there's a company makes some uh, some camel feta cheese. Oh, feta cheese. Which uh, is marinated in, uh, in an olive oil. Um, uh, um, an olive oil mix with okay. uh, thyme and garlic. All right, all right. That's where we have. We look at that. There's thyme, garlic, oil, and cheese. Feta cheese, right? Okay, good. It smells good. Some strong aroma. Okay, of course. Needless to say, this so, is the. So that's the camel meat. Yeah. So I have the oil in the meat, so I marinate oh, that. Okay. How long do you marinate for? Um, I usually like to keep it in there for a couple of days, but uh, you can do it like last minute as well. Wow, Peter, if you want to keep it longer... It looks like beef to me. <laughs> it is not beef. It is not, okay. <laughs> All right. It smells good and it's been marinated over a day? Oh, just about a day. Yeah. Just about a day. It's okay. So what you did was, you took this mixture, mixed it up with it, yep. and then left it for... Threw a couple of fresh garlic in it and just, just left it overnight. All right. Okay. Peter, I'll leave it to you. You do the rest. Fantastic. All right. Let's, let's come Let's come on over. Do it, guys. Yep. Okay. You want to have the pan hot, right. you want to cook it quick, and then yeah. you want to rest it. Okay. You cook it exactly like beef, no difference. That's right. Peter, can I ask you one question? Yeah, absolutely. Can you make it more spicier than this? Spicy? <laughs> because my audience know I love spicy, but I don't think you can put chili in it. You see, you see, you see what, what, we do, what we do now is yeah. we're going to do it, it we do it very simple. Uh, okay. we're, not, we're not going to put any spice on it, because we do put spice on it. That's right. You do, you do it the day before. Yeah, that's right. You don't throw things in there. No, nah, right? that's right. So you can put whatever spice on it, what you want, whatever okay. you like. So today we just use some pepper. Uh, okay, that's cracked pepper. Okay, just that's cracked pepper. pepper. Now that will do the job. That will do the job, right? And then we've got some nice salt. Nice salt. Okay. Salt. See, we got yes. Sea salt. No, that's just some crystal salt. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Of course, Australian. Right? Yes. Yes. Like all the like all the camel meat I buy comes from Australia. Right. And that's the only camel meat I buy because um, look. The camel meat is from Australia, not from Egypt or any Middle Eastern country or Africa. Okay. Uh, cameraman, look at that. Look. Basically, uh, in Australia, we do have the largest, or the other, there's the only disease free camel in the world. Oh, no. Disease free? Disease free, yeah. Oh. Because, uh, because they're all feral. They're not being interbred, there's no genetic things. Uh, oh. no. So, uh, they, uh, they, they basically, like, these camels here come from, uh, come from uh, oh. these ones are domestic or yeah. half. Like I have for and like yeah. Right. See that? You just start cooking and I can smell the aroma. So soon, hmm. Much faster than the beef. I have done about 70 episodes of cooking. This is one of the fastest. Look at that. Oh. It just looks like steak. Come on, cameraman. Come closer. Have a look. All right. Beautiful. So how long do we have to cook? 
Um, if I can come and show you what I normally stand on, okay. like I got me to stir them off really nice and quick and okay. give them a lot of heat at the beginning. Right. And then, uh, like now if you have an oven, if you want to put them in the oven, you can. I'll, yeah. I wouldn't. Okay. Uh, I'll take them out, let them sit for a bit. All right. Uh, until they get a nice color, and right. then I'll then I'll recook them again. Okay. Just give them a little more heat at the end. Okay. They're too, they're too thin. Even right. like if you get them like a two inch stick, right. that's when you want to use the oven for five minutes. And uh, but the same timing, probably a little more than a beef. Right. Now the good thing is, this is halal ammo. Peter make sure that the meat is halal. Yep. Right. Yep. So, so halal, halal proof. Yeah. Halal proof. So it looks beautiful. Like the same color like the I wonder when it tastes like a beef. It's a bit older than a veal, but a bit younger than a beef. So younger than. So yeah. you know, then you know that it's, uh, that it's, it's a nice, it's a nice, um, nice, nice piece of beef. Um, yeah. So that one I already put on, you can put it in the corner. And that one left. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Yeah. Would you like it smell? Oh. Mmm. I didn't see you putting any butter or anything, right? No, 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 no. Okay. I mean, yeah, you, you, you can finish it off at the end with butter, right? But because I'm going to use some of the feta cheese, yes. uh, there's plenty of uh, there's plenty of um, right. uh, creamy stuff and uh, you know milk and right. because the butter has come from comes from milk. That's right. It takes time to make something nice. Yes. So we always gotta take the time. All right. So meat needs to rest. Okay. We just we just pounded it really ah, hard okay. with heat. Okay. So you push all the blood in the middle and it right. makes it all like squished together. If I cut that open now, all the blood comes out. Okay. So what we do is we let it rest a little. I put yes. it aside. Yes. Blood can come to the outside. I like it medium rare. Yes. Yes. Uh, medium rare, rare. -ish, okay. But medium rare, you probably taste it the most. So uh, in in camel meat, you do well done as well. Um, or uh, this will, with, with these kind of cuts, yeah, no, no, but it, there's people that like it well done, so you cook it well done, yeah. Okay, all but right, then they then they um, then the dust get dry, right? Yeah, so I do warn people, I say, okay. but it's with beef as well. If you cook the beef well, they, sorry, like Peter said, you must let it put it on for a while. Look, so as I said, it takes a little time, yeah. Right, so this one here for example is nice and thin and like I'll put it on the plate here so you can actually see what happens and that's oh. and this is if it's cam if it's uh, if it's um if it's uh, camel beef yeah. yes but any red meat you will find exactly the same all right so we let it rest right now that's ready and, and that's really the, the key the key to make it uh, medium okay. or medium rare now the camel meat is resting resting for how long oh well you know <laughs> I can I can rest it for a while <laughs> what do you say what five minutes for a few minutes, yeah. few minutes, okay. Just leave it. Then, well, as Peter says, it will taste much better. Peter, we have waited for about five minutes now. Yeah, so all right. Now, what so are you going to do? Have a look. You see, you see that blood coming through? Yes, yes. You see, like that's the reason why we rest this. Okay. So that the blood actually has a chance to relax. Right. Put the flavor through. Okay. You asked me earlier if you can if you can cook anything else with it. Yes. yes. You can make curries, everything with it. Okay. The reason why I give you the steak. Yes. I want you to taste the camel. I don't want to hide it. Okay, that's a good point. Very so good point. See, yeah. Like, you know, the easiest way, but I did. And being much earlier, so I'll give you some butter. Yes, yes. Just to make you, just to make you happy. <laughs> <laughs> I love to have butter, you know. <laughs> With a steak, yeah. yeah I figured that. All so right, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll give you, I'll give you some. So that's the olive oil. No, that's just now. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to fry anything off in, in okay. olive oil. The olive oil will burn. Yes. And then you you fry the olive oil and burn the oil. And it, it, it doesn't taste right. So I just use straight up sunflower oil or rice, okay. rice, rice, rice flour oil or okay. like just a simple, simple oil. Simple oil, okay, good, so, good. Um, yeah. Like the marination, I use like a blend of olive oil and uh, sunflower oil. Right. Um, but only 25, or 40, 35, 40 percent of olive oil. Okay. No more. No more, right? You don't want to taste like olive oil. No, of course you don't. Of course and, you don't. Uh, so it's simple as that. Here we go again. Once it's cooked. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. It just gives it one last. I just want to give it one last. Yeah, and that's yeah. that. Oh, just to put the heat through. Did you see that? How beautiful it is. And I'm sure most of you never knew that you can cook twice, right? Okay, look here. It's a, it's a great little trick for a party. Yeah. You, cook it, you cook it medium rare, rare. Yeah. Let it sit there no. until you're ready to cook it. Right. And then all you gotta do is put the barbie on and just cook it one more time. Okay, yeah. You see, it's like, it's that, like, a, it's like a dry version of sous, uh, sous vide. So instead of packing it in the bag, I do camel a lot with sous vide as well. Yeah. Like bigger cuts, which All is right. beautiful. All it, right. It does tend, it does tend to cook, oh. cook a little longer. Okay. So you see like with a bit of garlic, with a bit of butter. Oh. 
Garlic, beautiful. Peter, this is the first time I want to try camel meat. All right, here you go. And uh, Peter said he'd be blown out of this world. All right, now look at that beautiful, serene scenery. Beautiful, what a pleasant day. And then what a nice day to uh, enjoy a camel meal. All right. Now, you got some chips here, we got some salad. This is a fresh salad. They made in front of me. Fresh salad. Very short. Shall I start this part? Okay, here. Start any part you know. Okay. You see that? Bounce. Look. Okay, you can feel that. Look at this part. Eh? Soft. Soft. Oh. All right. Now, these flies are not doing a good job. <laughs> You can see it's not not well done. This love still soft. Keep it intentionally. Yeah, oh yeah. You want to keep it pink or even medium, like okay. medium, medium, medium. So. Do I need to use any sauce? We just eat it. Yes. Okay. I want you to taste the camera. Taste it. Okay. Hide it. All right. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. <laughs> really? I'm not joking. It tastes like a beef steak. I could have, I could have said oh, I told you so, but I didn't. <laughs> if you would have given me, you stop telling me it's camel meat. I could have uh, beef. Mm, beautiful. It wouldn't be the first one I could have fooled about. Oh, <laughs> but it's expensive than beef, right? Uh, no. <laughs> no. 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 Mm. You know, like it, uh, it depends where you buy it. Right. But, um, but, Look um, at the texture. Good. Delicious. Simple ingredient. Fresh. You saw what went, went into it, right? You had some oil, you have a bit of butter, you have garlic, and uh, simple ingredient, and still have the natural flavor. I like it, man. I really like it. Fantastic. I think we need to get more uh, camel meat and gokos. <laughs> sure, I can have you, right? Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> Alright, let's enjoy together. Alright, it's a beautiful day, beautiful food, beautiful people. Let's enjoy it. Thank you. And then, uh, so, thank you for watching, and then please keep watching my next episode, more interesting episode. And I'll see you next time. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.